so in this video we are going to understand and we are going to learn that how to completely uninstall MinGW from your Windows 10 and if you are using Windows 7 and Windows 8 then it is totally applicable on them too so just follow the steps that I'm going to follow and then you will be able to uh, go through your plan uh, like whatever you will be able to uninstall your MinGW from your computer or from your operating system so please stay tuned because I want to discuss uh, I want to two minutes after I have completed my tutorial because I want to discuss like why I have chosen such a little topic for because as it is my first video first YouTube video so just uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so let's get started and we will search ninji w okay so just go to open file location here you can see here you can find out open file location okay so what I have found I have seen this I have come to my directory which is you can now just double tap open this okay so this is the window or you can say MinGW has opened so just follow the steps that I am going I will not speak anything just follow and just whatever important points I will tell you just follow them go to basic setup mark for removal mark for removal and then go to all packages so in this what you have to do you have to select all those packages whatever you have checked or you have selected before during the installation so just stick for it so it will take a little bit time so I will I will come to you after I have completed this. Like mark for removal. This is a very important part. Now I can see I have completed all those steps that I have told you. Like I have selected all those packages that I have selected during the installation. So what we will do? We will go here in the top left corner. Installation. So installation. Uh, what you have to do apply changes like whatever you have selected you have to just mark it for removal apply changes okay so here you also have to say apply and then when it is completed it will you have to close it okay so it is completed now it depends or it, or it depends like what is your how uh, what uh, kind of internet connection you are using so i am using wi-fi so that's why it's super speedy whatever now i will close this window and delete it from here right click and delete now what you have to do you have to go inside the programs and check if there are any minjw folder left or not so i have checked and i have no minjw folder inside of it now I'll go to this PC, then I'll go to my C drive and I, here I can see that I'm having my MinGW folder. So just delete it. I have done recycling because I uh, because I would be able to restore it. I won't be much under pressure to like let's uninstall. So please steps to follow kariye. Oh, uh, now you have to like you have uninstalled the application, you have uninstalled all the packages, you have uninstalled the folders, but you have to also change. But you also have to change the now what you have to do. We have uninstalled all those things, all those packages. You have uninstalled the application and, and now what you have to do, you have to change the environment variables too. So follow me. Go to okay, go to um, this PC and right click on it. Right click and you have you will get the properties folder. Just go to properties and you have to go here the advanced system properties and here you have to like password because i'm not using the administrator one so here you can see you have to go the system properties pop-up window has been opened and now you have to go to the environment variables 
and then in system variables this is your system variables in system variables select path select when you select path go to edit and then here you can see this path that you have pasted during the installation during the installation and we are going to delete this hmm. now all those things are deleted and you have to just okay okay and then close it now one last step which is the step to check that like uh, when MinGW is properly deleted or not just search here for MinGW and you can still see this is the folder of my anaconda anaconda jupiter so i will not touch it here i'm going to like we can see like MinGW setup cancel Are baba you near now So just go to open file location oh and you have to delete this too okay delete this i have deleted once again search and in this way you have to delete everything every installer whatever is there inside of your laptop so see i have found this i have uninstalled so you can see that we have Face, we have deleted everything from our laptop so what you are seeing in my screen is that it's the mngw folder that is created in my anaconda jupiter notebook because i was using a, their visual studio so that's why it is installed but the mngw that uh, that application for particular c++ is uninstalled and you're done with it so why I have, if I hope you guys are still there and those who are there, I really appreciate that you are still here till the end. So I want to discuss like I have, why I have chosen this such a little topic and you guys must be thinking like why the stupid girl who is also a uh, so senior and why she has chosen this such a topic like how to complete the uninstall major from windows 10 so basically why i have chosen this because when i was newbie like when i was a beginner when i have started and when i have started with the c++ programming so i have faced those little little challenges that took a lot of time so I just want to make sure that my my juniors or the upcoming coders are not facing these kind of issues and they are simply able to go with the flow and they are able to just solve and focus focus on their computer programming strategies. So that's all for today's please make a touch and upload and in the coming videos we'll be discussing about the competitive programming strategies and the and all those questions from beginner to advanced level so just stay tuned and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe i hope i i think you all are new so please subscribe the channel and support me bye so that's all for today's uh, for today and thank you so much bye Wait for